Hey YouTube, it's Maggie here from Political View. So today I want to talk about good old New York State's Governor Cuomo. So Dipstick decided he was going to sign a new law that would allow Democrats to access President Trump's uh, tax returns, even if it is just New York State, because you know they can't get it any way el you know anywhere else. So this actually creates a. Um, little workaround so they can legally get it um, real nice what an idiot but then what can you expect from Governor Cuomo who you know is making his way into the public scene getting his name out there because he eventually plans on running for president despite what anybody says or what he says um, so he had a little press conference signed it into law and he goes by amending the law enforcement exception in New York State tax code to include congressional tax related committees. This bill gives Congress the ability to fulfill his constitutional responsibility, strengthen our democratic system, and ensure that no one is above the law. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not really what you were going for. I think it's funny though because they, there's a quote in the article. There's a thing in the article where it says is, it's um, for legitimate legislative purpose, right? Well, Steve Mnuchin, who is um, the Treasury Secretary, said that uh, he determined lawmakers did not show a legitimate legislative purpose for their request. So hence why this is a nice little walk around our laws. And, you know, so what this does is with signing the bill, House Democrats are, um, are going to get, as I said, his state taxes. It's not, and most of the stuff you get on your state taxes is on your federal taxes anyway. So it's as a, you know, it's one way of getting the information they need that they can't legitimately get another way. Um, there's also a problem with... Well, other than the fact that he suffers Trump derangement syndrome and so is half of, you know, the Congress. Well, pretty much most of the people who run New York State are Democrats and they suffer in one form or varying degrees over another. Um, so they're playing politics is what they're doing. So doing this law is actually playing politics and they're pandering to the federal government's um, Democrats, the DNs, you know, the, the ones that are ruining the ru ruining the United States, but they're they're running in you know everything in DC. Um, there's a problem with this also because while the, the they're saying it applies to everybody, not just Trump, and yeah, it does meet the standard, but it most people believe it's unconstitutional. Um, because it's motivated by a desire to specifically target Trump. They're just, they're really, what they're doing is targeting one person. They're not making it, like if they had just done it and the Democrats hadn't been trying to get Trump's tax, you know, ever since they took over control of the house, if they hadn't been trying to get his taxes, if they had done it, like say before um, Trump had even gone to office like when Obama was in office more than likely people were going to believe that um, this wasn't politically motivated it covers everybody it meets the standards but the problem is, is it it really is targeting um, <laughs> targeting uh, one specific person is really what it's doing and by that it makes it unconstitutional because the constitution prohibits what's known as a bill of atta attainder or a law that singles out an individual for punishment so um while it doesn't make a specific reference to trump or um any person uh, there are people in our state like uh what's his name senator hoyle hoyleman um who sponsors a version of the bill and House Judiciary Chairman Gerald Nadler, he's such a little troll, uh, that specifically mentioned Trump in reference to this legislation. 
So, yeah, it's pretty much going to probably get a lot of flack, a lot of lawsuits. I know probably the White House is going to sit there and go after things and say, yo, no, 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 no. And I know a lot of the, the Republicans that are um, in office in Albany are really upset over it, too, because of the fact that he's politically pandering to the Democrats that are in Congress. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out, to be honest. So just keep an eye out. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I want to see where it goes myself. So thanks for watching. This is Maggie from Political View. Please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.